Good morning, good evening, good night. Welcome to the exciting episode of Pokemon Go. So with Community Day coming, I thought I'd better do a roundup of all the information relevant to you. Here we go. So, most of you already know that Maroop is the Community Day Pokemon. We do not actually know if Shiny Maroop is coming out, but going off previous Community Days, we can basically confirm we are getting Shiny Mareep. A special move is Dragon Pulse, which took me completely by surprise, because in my mind, I was like, we're never going to see that tool I bring out Megas. But it's potentially a legacy type move, with only a few Pokemon still learning Dragon Pulse. So Ampharos will now be a really good defender, very wide variety of moves it can now counter with, which is good considering that he's actually a fairly decent Pokemon in the original gaming, we're actually going to have a good return on him now. And with Megas eventually coming out, he actually gets Dragon Typing in there. Talking of Ampharos, I've actually got hold of some footage of him using Dragon Pulse. Right here, I'm going to play it now if I can possibly get it to work. Going back to Community Day, it is one quarter egg distance and obviously still the three hour lures that's good the quarter eggs i've still got a bunch of purple incubators i'm sure you do too i'd love to find out if purple incubators also coincide with the quarter egg distance because think about it you could nearly do a 10k egg in like 500 meters that would be insane I'm going to try and load up a bunch of 10Ks pro just before the event kicks off. So I've got a full nine 10Ks and then bang, hit them off the start of community day and see what happens. Now a piece of news that's a bit more closer to home. This dropped, a bunch of people have been reporting on this. I haven't seen it, but GoHub reported on it and even one of my local players told me about it and showed it to me. This is what was said. Trainers, starting April 10th, where we'll be hosting a special celebration in honor of Kanto region in Pokemon Go. Gen 1, that is. Keep your eye on the official Pokemon Go website and social media channels for more information surrounding this event. That's all they said. So, going off that, this is what GoHub is speculating. But, one of these is, I reckon, more likely than the others. It goes... Starting, start a takeover with shiny models. That's doubtful because of Bulbasaur already being released as a shiny. I severely, I seriously doubt they would be stupid enough to release the shiny starters. Not as a community day event. Because let's be honest, we will be hunting the hell out of Charmander if we get shiny Charmander on a community day. Returning of legendary birds and their potential shiny models. Now that could actually be more likely considering we've just seen Lugia return but again we've got Latios and Latias out at the moment. I don't think we'll see them. A Gen 1 takeover with potential bonuses associated with them such as Stardust experience and candies but with an event like that it would it could only run for four days otherwise it's going to land on community day unless they're happy to have event and event going on top of each other but i'm pretty sure we had that didn't we with extravaganza and the last community day so i'm kind of thinking we may see that happen we'll just have to wait and see the next one is gen 1 avatar outfits i truly hope we don't get that because that would be lame Niantic, please tell me you're not doing that. Now, this is the one I personally think is more likely. Regional migration. Now, we've already seen that happen with Plusle and Minel, Surviper and Zangoose, and even Kangaskhan's from Australia travelling around the world with the uh, Ari Zones. But, let's be honest, we're going to have to wait and see. 